former WBA heavyweight champion Alexander Povetkin has now been moved up to the number one position in the WBC heavyweight rankings, which could potentially put him in line for a crack at WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Now, Povetkin is supposed to fight a final eliminator to become the mandatory challenger against Mike Perez, but so far, no public news has come out about any negotiations between Povetkin and Mike Perez. So we don't know the situation there. It could be possible that he fights someone else for the uh, mandatory position, or they might just make him mandatory without him having to fight a final eliminator. We'll have to see how it goes. But if he does end up fighting Mike Perez, that's a great fight in itself. <laughs> that is a great, great fight. Povetkin has been on a tear recently. He's been doing very, very well against fighters of his own kind of dimensions, his own kind of si uh, height and what have you. In phone booth fights, very few people out there are able to hang with Alexander Povetkin. Apart from uh, Marco Hook, actually, who did very well toe-to-toe -to -toe against Povetkin. But I think Povetkin wasn't in, in, a good, in as good a shape back then as he's in now. But right now, he's in the form of his career. But Mike Perez, I think, is a bit slicker and a bit more crafty and a bit more talented than some of the fighters Povetkin's been fighting recently. So I, I don't see that as being as easy for Povetkin as... I, I mean, not saying the other fights were easy, but I don't see Povetkin being as dominant against a Mike Perez as he was against people like Manuel Char and <clears throat> who was that big African guy he fought in his last fight? I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> Takam, Carlos Takam, that's him. I don't see him as being I don't see him being as dominant as he was in those fights against Mike Perez. So it's a great fight in itself. But if he got past Perez, he'd have a crack at Deontay Wilder. And that's a very intriguing fight also. Me personally, I think Wilder beats him but I'll probably be in a minority because there seems to be a lot of people who think Povetkin would wipe the floor with Deontay Wilder. I don't think so. I think Povetkin would do better than Berman Stavern. I think he he's lighter on his feet, quicker on his feet than Stavern. I think his attacks are more versatile. He has better footwork than Stavern. That's basically what I'm getting at. Better footwork. Don't have great head movement though himself, but does have better footwork. Also has a good chin. So I see him having a bit more success than Stavern maybe, but ultimately I still think Wilder's too long, too tall, too rangy, cracks too hard with the right hand, is developing a good jab and a good left hook too. I would see Deontay Wilder taking that fight, but a lot of people would disagree with me. But who do you see winning out of Povetkin and Perez anyway? And what if Perez beat Povetkin? What, how would you feel about Perez against Deontay Wilder? There was a story going around that Perez shook Wilder up very badly in sparring. But a lot of things happen in sparring. So I don't I don't really know what to make of that. I don't know how long ago it was. I don't know what context it was in. Had Wilder been sparring several different guys and was tired and then Perez came in and caught. I don't know. I don't know what the situation was. So, you know, make of that what you will. But how do you see a fight between Mike Perez and Deontay Wilder going or a fight between Povetkin and Deontay Wilder or or the fight we're probably going to see, definitely, almost definitely, is Povetkin against Perez. How do you see that fight going? So, a lot to discuss there. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.